Hi guys, in this video, I'm going to be talking about functions in Rust. Now, let's start off and we have here an empty main uh, function, but let's create our own function. And how do you how do you create your own functions in, uh, in Rust? Well, it starts off with a keyword fn, short for function, and then let's call our function a minor and a minor zero, that's version zero, and that function now has a couple of params. In there come the parameters of the function, but let's leave that empty for now. And then we got these curly braces and in here comes the body of the function. And so basically now we have here a function, which is basically, we've got a skeleton of a function, put it this way. Now, what kind of parameters do we need? Well. I would like that function to take in the age of somebody and then basically tell me whether this person is a minor or whether this person is an adult. So it takes in, in this case, one parameter, which is the user age, and that goes like this, user age, and that is of type uh, I64. Okay, so that's now the parameter. And then in here, we build now the body of the, uh, of the function, just the way you build, we build our program previously. So uh, for instance, I need to compare the user age to a certain age to decide whether this person is a minor or an adult. So I'm just gonna put a constant, call that uh, key age, and that is of type I64. And I'm gonna play, put it at uh, 80. So, and then, uh, I'm going to start putting my conditions. If and user age, oops, user age is smaller than th and uh, user age greater or equal to zero, well, then what? Well, then the then the function is uh, oops, then the function is supposed to print out uh, you're a minor. So print room, and what it says is uh, you're a minor with your and years. So and then here we have user age. Okay, so that's the first output we would get out of that function. And otherwise, we can put another uh, uh, else statement, else uh, if, for instance, uh, user age is smaller zero, what happens then? Well, then obviously this is an error. Uh, this is an error, and that means uh, Print link. Uh, there is an error with the age or, or with this age and set a placeholder for the age and then have the user age appear. So that's the case if somebody puts in a negative date, a negative age, sorry, and then else, well, uh, otherwise this person is an adult and that means we print exactly that out, print lin, and wow, um, with you, you're definitely an adult. And for the placeholder, again, we have user age. So this, this function now outputs one of three strings. And um, I forgot the macro. Uh, outputs one of, the three, one of three strings, and depending on the conditions of the user age. Right. So that function is basically complete. And now all I got to do is call it. And the way you call a function is just go here type its name, a minor, and just input an age. Let's put a, let's put a, an age, let's say like 13. 
let's call it again with uh, 49. Uh, did I put a comma here? And let's call it again with a negative number. Minus 12. Okay. So let's see now what happens. Let's save that. Uh, Coracle run. So now it compiles. Uh, couldn't compile. Oh, of course, how stupid of me. I should A minor version 0, version 0, and version 0. So now it should compile. Let's save it. And let's cargo run. So you can see here the output, you're a minor with your 13 years, wow, with 49 you're definitely an adult, and there is an error with this age, minus 12. So basically here, what we have, we created a block, a function, which um, can be then reused as often as we need. So that's the nice thing about functions, you build them once, and then you can use them as much as you want. Now, that would be version 0 of, of our function. Let's uh, uh, make... Let's, let's take let's make a version one of our function let, let me just copy that and let me go here and make now an a minor one now with this function what i would like i don't want this function to print but i want it to return that stuff so if you want a function in rust which returns in this function down here the a minor zero did not return anything it just printed out uh, the output this function here, the a minor one, is supposed to return. It's supposed to return a string. So basically, the way that goes is the following: you just go in here. If your function is supposed to return something, first of all, you've got to give it the return type, and in this case, it is string. So that's one thing settled. And then what I'm going to have, I'm going to need to um, define my uh, my output. So that would be, um, let's create a mutable uh, variable, function output. And that would be of type string. And basically a new, completely new string. Right. So that's that. And now, instead of printing that stuff out, my function would basically here, that, that version one of the function would basically have function output is equal to, and there is a, another, another uh, function similar to println, which is basically format. And format does not output it to the screen, but what it does, it takes all that, what, is, what we know from println, and assigns it to that or assigns it to that variable. So that's that's what we got here. And um, so, and then same thing, let me just copy that, it goes faster. Same thing's gonna happen here. And the same thing's gonna happen here. Right, and then at the end here, we have return uh, format. Uh, sorry, not for my out, but function output. Okay. Great. So that is our second function. Now this function, remember, the first function, that version 0, printed something out. This just returns the variable. And let's do a, <clears throat> a couple of calls here. Let me just... So what I have here, I have now the same, I have three calls to a minor zero and three and exactly the same calls to a minor one. And now let's do some, a cargo run. And there you go. Now, let's look here. It printed just those three from a minor zero. It did not print those a minor one uh, function calls. Why not? Well, why should it? Because there's no println. We have just returned, this function a minor 1 just returns that 
variable oops ah, it just returns that function that variable function output it is not going to print anything nowhere does it say print something to the screen it just returns that and here what happens is that this variable is just being returned here just this this is basically equal to whatever output applies to that to that age so if you need to print that what you have to do you have to add that print lint statement here if you say go like this print lint and let's give it a differential to the or differentiate it from the other one so a minor so we know this is a minor one and that's its output and then we need a placeholder for the for the output itself and there you go so that's basically now and here closing paren for the print so that's basically now you would see that th that thing and let me just copy that for the other two makes it goes much faster and I, then i just need to change the ages so we got here like a 49 and a minus 12. so you see here the difference between the two functions is let me save that the two functions here the a minor zero prints out the output it prints it out and it prints the output out a let me repeat it again a minor zero prints out the output so that's why i can just call the function and stuff will get printed out to the screen in contrast a minor one returns a variable a string of type string but then you as the caller of that function has you have to sort out the printing and that's what we're doing we're calling function a minor one and we are dealing with the printing we are creating that print lint statement ourselves whereas a minor zero did it on its own we don't have to worry about the print lint. so you know which is better again here depends on what you want i mean often in most programming uh, uh, applications you don't need a lot of print lint. mainly you need a function which returns something and then you do whatever you want with that variable i have i mean in my experience i've seen very little functions or very few functions put it this way uh, which are created to print stuff out basically the most functions that, that i've created or, or seen created are basically functions which return something and then you can do whatever you want with that something that is being returned either combine it with something else or print it out i mean you decide right so uh that's that now let's cargo run it So and you see here, let me just expand that. And you see here, um, oops, you see here these are the A minor zero prints, which are have been done without any any you know I just called the function. Whereas these here are the A minor one prints. This is where I myself as a as the caller of the function uh, built the print lint statements and then I called the function. So you see here two ways of building your functions um, and obviously functions can take in multiple multiple arguments uh, we, our function here in this case just took one but you can obviously take a, a further second third and so on um, uh, arguments as inputs to your function but basically the the process is, is very, pretty much the same the way we did it around here